The preparation been good. Um, we've been spending some time out here in Seattle, Bellevue area, and enjoying it. But at the same time, putting in some good work, you know. And uh, we got a challenge ahead of us. Uh, good, good front up, good, good front that we getting ready to prepare for. Um, good running backs, solid receivers, and Lockett and Metcalf and Geno been playing really well. So we got a hell of a challenge ahead of us, but uh, we're excited. Trace as far as what? Uh, Seattle's uh, offensive trace. Yep, uh, um, they like to be balanced. They love to try to run the ball, try to establish a run, and they'll go up top on you. You know, you got um, two big playmakers on the outside. Two guys have been good in the league for, for a while now, and, uh, and Lockett and Metcalf and uh, Penny running as hard as anybody in the league. So, um, you know, they got good balance, and we got to be able to re be ready to answer the call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they put them in different positions to have success. Uh, line them up at some fullback, did some belly plays, let them run some wildcat. And uh, so he added another dynamic to their team. And um, so he's been a good addition to them. And so they're a good one-two punch and uh, so a couple good uh, young, hungry runners. Your tackles are young. Does that, you know, do you lick your chops a little bit or do you just have to approach it like any other week? No, they're starting NFL players and you want to give them, give them the respect they, that they earned and deserve to be a starter in this league. And um, so, I mean, you know, they're young, but at the same time, they want to go out there and do well too. So we got to be on our P's and Q's too. We got young, we got young air, edge rushers as well. So it'll be a good um, matchup. I feel like outside, and I'm excited to see it go down. Grady, I've asked this question to a few people, and I'd love your opinion too. It feels different this O2 team versus last O2. Mm -hmm. like starting the season in that way, but everybody who I've talked to has said this feels different for you. Does it feel different for you, and, and why made that? Change? You know, I, I, to be honest, you know. Being on two is not where any of us wanted to be, so I don't want to take glory in being on two because I feel like we was in position to win, you know, our first two games. So we just got to use that to overcome this hump. You know, I think the only thing we can focus on is right now and where we're at, and um, because this is a whole different team than, than we've had in the past. And I'm excited for what's ahead of us, and um, that's really what the focus is: is just getting that one win, getting over the hump, get this train rolling. You know, and I, so as far as the comparative from this year to last year, previous years, I don't, I don't think it's irrelevant. I think the most important thing for us to do is focus on the now, figure out what we need to do now to get over this hump and get us a win. I wonder if I could look at uh, Blaine's video actually from the, the Rams game and Arthur came over to the D-line and said, where's the violence, where's the violence? And that was actually not long before you guys went on a roll on defense. What was the message from him and from coaches and where were you guys able to, to get that from? How, how are you all able to, to put that to it? You know, I think, um, you know, being down is, is a place you don't want to be, especially 28-3. And, but for us to be able to fight back and put ourselves in position when that game shows a lot about this team, you know, the character that we have, the leadership that we have, and uh, Coach know what we're capable of, and, um, you know, and he, he know what to do to get it out of us. But it shouldn't have, have, have it shouldn't take him to do that for us to be on that, you know, the whole time. So um, I think it was a, some, some wake-up calls on, you know, from players and coaches' perspective that we all came together and, you know, and uh, things started going our way, got some turnovers, got a big special team play last week, and, uh, but unfortunately we couldn't, we couldn't finish it off. But that's a lesson that we're going to learn from, you know, because we know no matter the deficit, we can overcome, you know. And we also learn no matter how high we up, we got to keep pressing, you know. So these are good lessons to learn early on in the year. But at the same time, I would much rather be here talking to you 2-0 than 0-2. But that's not where we're at. So we got to take it where we're at and get better. With the case of, you know, another tough road game, another really loud crowd, uh, was it starting slow last week before you guys kind of got that message? Was it something you can kind of... I wouldn't really spend too much time thinking on last week, man. We, it's Thursday. We play in two, three days, and we focus on the Seahawks and um, and and the things going going forward. So I, I wouldn't spend too much time uh, speak, speaking again and again over what I feel like I've been talking about the whole interview is the past two weeks. I want to get ready to talk about the Seahawks and us going out there taking the lesson that we learned and preparing to play a good game on Sunday. The, the way I guess I should have asked it is, how do you guys start faster in this one in another tough road environment away from home? That's yeah, yeah, so minimizing mistakes, definitely minimizing mistakes, coming out with some fire, some energy, uh, using that crowd, uh, that crowd energy, try to use it to our advantage, you know? And um, I love playing in hostile environments, you know, the, the environment don't get much better than uh, playing in Seattle. I've been, this will be my maybe third time playing up here. It's been, you know, special um, every time, you know, when you grow up as a football fan and, um, you know, coming through college and then just they, they prime time when it was just, that's, that's playing in Seattle was just so having the opportunity to play, play here is special. And um, so me on a personal level, you know, I, I like to play my best in, in the great environment. So, you know, I always want to play my best, but it's, it, it's just a little special here, you know? So I think we can embrace that and make that um, be to our advantage, hopefully. Uh, 
Arthur said it, this place is louder than some of the college places. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, I won't make you compare it to Death Valley, but how does this compare? Oh, yeah, yeah, we ain't, ain't got to take it to Death Valley, well, man. No, just, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to get crazy. No, just play. But no, man, they call the 12s for a reason, man. They got a great fan base, man. They support these boys heavy. And, um, you know, that's make the, that make the game the NFL so great, you know. You get the fans something to look to, you know, something to play for. And uh, if you're just a fan of football, man, you, you got to love it. Mm. Averaged about seven or eight tackles a game. What is it about the Seahawks that turned your crank a little bit? Man, I don't know. I think coming through the draft, man, they told me they was going to draft me, but they, they ain't, they ain't shh. I get they ain't having so I'm like, they got to remember me some way, somehow, you know what I'm saying? But uh, nah, I mean, you know, it's just been, um, like I said, just a team you always got to be ready for, you know, and uh, they always going to be physical, big up front. They always going to have a dynamic player at pass. You know, they had Russell for so long and Geno stepping in right behind. They always had a good run. Run a game, so it's just one of them things you got to get get your mind right for. You know, there's a reason why they have steady success for the time period that they have been. So um, they demand the utmost respect, and my try to play my best um, against you know the best. Oh yeah, it's, being in Seattle for a week it, it's, it's been a fun experience. You know, we kind of get to change up the location and uh, you know get a vibe for the city, a feel for the weather, and things like that. So it's been good for us. How do you look at the the offense through the first two weeks? Um. I feel like we've made some good progress. You know, obviously there's there's been some bumps in the roads and, and some sloppiness and some mistakes, but I feel like that's going to come with, with all the new that we have. So, you know, right now it's about cleaning that up and trying to, you know, make improvements and keep, you know, pushing towards being the offense that we want to be. With all the new that you mentioned, how are you feeling, you know, the, the chemistry build, getting a little bit more comfortable now three weeks in? Are there things that, that feel a little bit different or smoother for you? Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's getting smoother. Like I said, it's a process, mm -hmm. you know, in each week we're, we're building, we're growing, and we're, we're adding new things. So, you know, you just got to kind of hit it in stride and, and continue to grow as much as you can and continue to just, you know, absorb as much information as you can. I know there's, you know, not getting too inside baseball into the playbook here, but what are the things you look for? We need to get over this hump, or this is what I'm looking for to kind of get this offense clicking. Um, it's just simple execution, mm -hmm. you know, just executing our – each individual job and uh, trusting your teammate that he's going to do his job and he, and he trusting that you're going to do your job. And, you know, that's that's what makes offense go. You know, it, it's doing simple very well. On an individual level, how do you look at your first two weeks? Um, you know, obviously we haven't had the success we wanted to have as an offense. So, you know, and I haven't had the success I wanted to have as a player. But like I said, it's still early in the season and I'm just trying to take one game at a time and just trust the process that I'm in. And, uh, <laughs> You know, I know that it's going to turn around. As far as uh, playing here, you've played in this building before, right? I have not. Really? Okay. Yeah, so what? My, my bad. Uh, what have you heard about it, first of all, and what kind of, you know, how different is it when you come into a place that's known for for noise? What kind of challenges is that? Um, obviously, it's going to present a challenge for for everybody, I mean, not including myself. So we're just going to have to make sure we home in on the details and execute this game plan because it's definitely going to be a tall task for us handling the noise. But um, you know, I like the game plan we have, and I feel like we can be confident in the things that we have in, we have installed so we can go out there and do our best. You getting a new appreciation for grunge music with how loud they're playing it at practice? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'm getting a, you know, getting appreciation of all music, just <laughs> everything, especially just loud music. So. Yeah. They kind of had like a Seattle theme this week, it yeah, seems like. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm liking the vibe, though. It's, 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 like I said, it's a nice place, man. It's a nice vibe. All the people are nice, just like extremely nice. Like, you never think you would meet people that are nicer than people from the South. Right. But, so it, it's, it's different. Uh, it, it was loud. Prepared for, you know, a loud environment. They got great fans, so we got to be ready to communicate, basically without any sound. So um, we got a good plan though, so we're, we're excited. What kind of strain does that put on? Obviously everywhere you play and you guys go to New Orleans and it's a dome, what kind of strain does it put on you guys when it is, you know, kind of taking it to the next level? It, it's definitely different, but um, if you prepare correctly, you kind of adapt and basically learn how to play without talking to each other almost. It's all, um, you know, physical communication and stuff the center can do. So um, the biggest thing is having a plan and practicing it all week, and I think we've done a good job of that, so we'll be ready to roll. Physically for you, I mean, you can't, like, wear earplugs or something. When you come off the field, is it, like, ears ringing? Like, are you feeling the next day? <laughs> uh, not too much, but there are times where it, you can feel, like, your helmet's almost vibrating and someone's two feet from you, you can't hear what they're saying. So we're ready for it. Um, they, they've proven that they're, you know, a good home crowd and they're going to be loud. So 
Um, you just got to be ready to execute. I talked to Brian a minute ago. He said he's just, you know, feeling the chemistry and feeling the comfort level raise even just a couple weeks in. Are you seeing that on the offensive line? And if so, how are you guys feeling that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we've every week kind of built on what we've been doing and getting more comfortable in how we communicate with each other and just being on the same page and just speaking for myself. I mean, uh, I mean, believe it or not, nine years now into doing this, the, the more comfortable I feel is when I know what I'm doing. I know the guy next to me knows what he's doing. So the more we can build that and, um, you know, I think we do a lot of special things. So we're, we're, we're training in that direction, I'd say. Last thing I want to ask you is an interesting thing Grady was talking about outside, just kind of comparing, you know, this year's start to last year's start. And, you know, obviously you guys don't want to be on two, but a different feeling this year with all, the, all that you've shown. Do you, how do you compare that feeling where you guys were after two games last year versus now? Yeah, um, like you said, unfortunately, we're, we're 0-2, but right. a couple different things happen. And um, I think I was telling you this on Sunday, we're having a completely different conversation right now, just a, a few changes. So, um, yeah, we got things being executed. And, um, you know, it's hard to say we like where we're at because we're 0-2, but we, we've shown some good things. So we, we just got to keep building off that, get that first win, and then keep rolling from there.